So we're taking a look at the underside here. All right, same thing. Let's get this underside cleaned up. Now we've got access to all this trailer parts. Let's get all this cleaned up as well. here these old struts don't look too bad in fact they still work fine my plan was to put new struts on there I don't know if it needs it all right tell me what you guys think about this rear bumper it's plenty heavy-duty feels like it sticks out it's going to really affect the ground clearance and departure angles if we're getting this trailer off road i may just go ahead and cut this off and get rid of this rear bumper and if i do any kind of rear bumper additionally i may do some sort of two bumper that's got you know plenty of departure angle and good ground clearance We've got the axle removed, leaf springs disconnected from the actual frame. All right, the plan is to get this frame all stripped down and we're going to get it painted. All right, so we're checking out the bottom here and it's looking pretty good. That's with wire wheel. I am tired of wire wheeling, so I pulled out the, the sand blaster. Let's see if we can get this thing hooked up and start stripping this down even more. Okay, this is what I've got. Walnut shells, coarse 12 grit. Let's see how much good that can do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, 
that was an epic fail on the sandblaster. I just don't have the right tip. This sandblaster just doesn't seem to to want to do right. And I even have this little cheapy gun here, and I can't even get that to work right. And so I'm just going to go back to old school uh, with the wire wheel, and we'll just have to get after it the hard way. I've got a set of old leaf springs off my old Tacoma. Uh, I think these are actually too long, but I'm gonna pull off that little one inch lifting block right there and see if I can't use that on these leaf springs to get a little extra lift before we uh, put this all back together. That should fit on there. Looks like that goes nicely. Alright, that sleeve's right on there. The other question is this right here. Looks like it goes right in there. Perfect. Alright, sweet. found at the pawn shop for a hundred dollars toolbox that's gonna fit on there perfect I'm gonna try to put this on the trailer right in front of the bed aluminum toolbox let's take a closer look so anyway I've got the key to it let's open it up here yeah Everything works. I've got the key. Let's try putting it on the trailer itself and see how it's going to fit. Okay, I've just got it sitting up there, just getting a, an idea. Now this is the perfect width compared to the bed of the trailer as well. It's gonna be awesome. All right, I think this toolbox was a score. I'm gonna end this one right here with, uh, I guess the toolbox being the finale of this episode. Appreciate you guys watching, until next time. Say bye. Bye. Good job. Thank you. Huh? Want me to put my hood on like you? Yeah. All right. All right. Bigger. Gangsta. Ew, ew. Mm. Booger, booger, booger. What? You got a booger? <laughs> yeah, oh, no, don't wipe that on me. <laughs>